Samuel's 2 and 6, the most high killeth. Listen, listen. If somebody die, who killed him? What? The most high killeth and maketh a lie. He create evil, he kills. Get Deuteronomy 32. Read that. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Deuteronomy 32 39. See now that I, even I am he. He's he. There is no idol with me. I kill and I make a lie. Get in touch, man. All right. He said, I kill and I make a lie. So you're not going to be afraid of him? He said, I kill. I kill you. And I'll make a lie, read. I wound and I heal. If you get wounded, the most high may show you got wounded. You get healed, he the one that healed you. So we talking about, read. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Nobody can deliver you out of his hand, man. Once he got you, you is, man. Y'all understand, man, this is the most high. Look, this is what he said. Get uh Hebrews 10:29. This is what we're talking about. You say, because we've been taught not to fear him, not to be afraid of him. Actually, what the fear of the most high, you come up with an explanation. That's not the definition of fear. He said, you got to fear him. Listen, Hebrews 10 and 20, 29. Of how much sore, what is it? Uh, no, no. Uh, oh. Uh. Hebrews 10, 12, 12 and right. Hebrews 12 and 29. For our power, the most high, is a consuming fire. Most high is consuming fire, right? So you look at that fire, what are you going to do with this fire? That's why I said you're supposed to fear the most high. This is true. And being afraid of him. Get Ezekiel 22 and 20. This is what he's saying, man. So he's consuming fire. Let's see what we're going to do with that fire. And see, once you hear this, you ain't going to be afraid of them unless you, you get ready for it. <laughs> Ezekiel 22 and 20. Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 20. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in my anger. Gather all the wicked people that all want to come back to him in obedience. In his anger, be. And in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. <laughs> he said, I will leave you there and melt you. Read. Yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you in the, in the fire of my wrath. And ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I am the most high, Yahweh, have poured out upon you, my, my poured out my fury upon you. Yeah, it is, man. Second Peter 3 and 10. So y'all understand, judgment is coming on this earth, man, especially America, with all the wickedness that's here, man. This was coming down. Second Peter 3 and 10. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But it, but the day of the most high will come as a thief in the night. You ain't gonna know when a thief coming. To rob you, read. And the which the heavens shall pass away with a, the heavens that we know gonna pass away, read. With a great noise. A great noise, man. Come on. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The elements, everything you see, gonna melt with fervent heat, read. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. You're a consuming fire, man. That's the method that he gonna use. To purify this earth, man. Like he used water before and killed everybody but eight people. Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth and their wives. This time he coming with fire. Read. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Seeing then that all the things that you see now. Going to be dissolved. Especially here in Hollywood. Read. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and righteousness? Right, man. So we're here to warn you before it's too late, brother. Got to come back to his laws, man. Matthew 5, 17. 
See, they talk, that's why these people say it's a religion, and religion, they don't teach that you got to follow the Most High's laws. And they teach you that you're a Gentile, and you're the children of Israel. We're the chosen people of the Most High. If you're a Gentile, you don't have no mercy and grace. Mercy and grace only came to the Israelites, and I can prove it. Read. And he don't love everybody. For y'all, you John 3.16 buffs. He don't love everybody. Read. Matthew 5 and 17. That's what the Mashiach Dawashah said. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophet. I don't even think I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. That's the Old Testament. Read. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. He came to fulfill what he's supposed to do, man, and coming to this earth and dying for the 12 tribes of Israel and bringing us back to the Most High, man. Read. For verily I say unto you, so heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Right. Nothing gonna pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And we've been prophesying the fall of this place that we're in now in all places, man, and all people that don't want to come back to him. Ready? Whosoever therefore shall break one of the le these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. These preachers, man, they tell you you ain't got to follow the law, but you're in the mercy and grace. We're not in the law, but we're in the mercy and grace. You hear them say that all the time, right? You've heard that. But we are in the law. say, whosoever shall break one of these least commandments and teach men so, they shall be called what? The least in the kingdom of heaven. That's what they're setting you up, man. they setting our people up to be the least in the kingdom of heaven. Read. Right? But whosoever shall do and teach them, as we're telling you, you got to learn the laws of the Most High and apply them in your life when the book is closed. Right now, the book is open. Everybody righteous and ever. But now as you leave, you got to apply these laws of the Most High. That's why you got to read them. You got to learn them. The first five books of Moses. Learn them. Live them. And apply them in your life, man, before it's too late. Before it's too late. Because he's coming with wrath. He just said you're going to burn this place up. Where you going to be at then? He is. That's right. Ready? Ready? But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. That's his laws. Proverbs 3 and 1. Don't get it twisted, man. It's real. You gotta get on? You get a flyer? You get a flyer? You get a flyer, man. Uh, we have conference calls, man. You need to call in on a conference call. You have questions. You can answer your questions, whatever you have. You know, as you look at that and you, you have different things in mind, just call in. All right, all right. I hope you was edified. For sure, all right. Read. Proverbs 3 and 1. My son, forget not my law. He said, don't forget his law. Read. But let thine heart keep my commandments. Let your mind keep his commandments. Read. For length of days, you want to live a long time in righteousness. For length of days, because some people live a long time and they suffering. For length of days... Read. The, for length of days and long life and peace. Peace in your life, man. You keeping his commandments, you can look for this peace. Read. Shall they add to thee? They add to thee. Come on. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. That's right, man. Don't let this mercy forsake thee, man. Stay focused. That's what whole problem with our people. They don't want to stay focused. They find some reason or something to take your mind off us, off of it, you know. Booty go by. Oh, I'm out. You no, know, good and well, they ain't gonna talk to you, but you want to know Anything, you just. Well, I, I, did you hear what I asked you? Nope. Because you, your mind went somewhere else. Real talk.
I'm still recording. John 14 and 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth. Right. So, this is what he says going to say God sent us. That's the only thing he promised us. The spirit of truth, right? Go ahead. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. The world cannot receive the spirit of truth, read. Right? Because it seeth him not. Because it don't see him. Right? Neither knoweth him. The, 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 the world, the people of the world know him, read. Right? But ye know him. We know him, read. Right? For he dwelleth with you. And he dwelleth with us, read. Right? And shall be in you. And be in us. Come on. I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you comfortless, read. Right? I will come to you. For he will come to us to what? The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you see? Yeah. Yet a little while. 14, 26. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, the Comforter is the Holy Spirit, right? whom the Father will send in my name. We're going to send him in his name. In the name of the Lord and Savior. But it's coming from the Father. Most high, you see? Right? He shall teach you all things. He's going to teach us all Trump things. Just that right right? There. And bring all things to your remembrance. And bring all things to our mind. Our remembrance. Because it was a diabolical plan to take all the things that we remember out.